Personally, I disagree with those comments, and I feel, if anything, we need even more women in science. We only have to look at the contribution made by women historically to realise what a valuable contribution they make. And at our school, I can see every day, every lesson that I teach, the way our girls think and the way that they contribute to science, and that can only improve going forward. So I think that women make such a valuable contribution to science and I'd like to see even more in the scientific workplace. So today there is a mystery that, um, to solve and a crime has taken place. Um, our head teacher Mr Marshall say his cello has been stolen so any visitors and girls coming in today are taken to the scene of the crime and then led on a trail around our school to um, try various scientific activities um, to help them find out who committed the crime. It's very creative and imaginative and it will really help to inspire younger children to like science and how to investigate in like problems and solving things. I really like forensic science because they teach you how to do it properly like a proper forensic science science person like investigating and it's really fun. There's loads of famous science scientists that are men and then aren't many that are women so like Albert Einstein and everything and it's just it's not a really like big girl thing so I think it's really important that it is they include girls and everything. Um, I don't know whether it's necessarily important to have um, girls or boys involved in science. I think it's an important subject for everyone, but I think what is important is getting more um, children interested in science. I know as a country we're struggling to produce enough engineers and enough scientists. A lot of people um, tend to drift away from those subjects later on in academic life, and um, this is an important industry, and we're suffering as a, as a country um, with people that are, are working in those areas. So, you know, we're um, having a lot of people coming from outside the UK to come and work in example engineering. Actually, it would be good if we could get some homegrown, enthusiastic people to, to go into those industries. I think it's one of those uh, areas where there is absolutely no reason for um, women not to be involved in science and pushing forward in the sciences. Um, I think if we can start as young as possible, making science practical, making it really interesting for them so that they can then go on and take the, that enthusiasm for the subject forward, along with all the other subjects, there's no reason for that not to happen. The government recently brought in a brand new curriculum and there's quite a heavy emphasis on presenting the findings from scientific investigations and experiments. And I think that's a really valuable skill for our girls moving forward into senior school and beyond. Um, it's a skill that will be really beneficial in the workplace and in their careers, presenting and explaining and sharing their knowledge and understanding in science. I feel at a primary level it's really important that science lessons themselves are really engaging, really hands-on and as practical as possible so the girls aren't passive but they're fully engaged and really involved in what they're doing and um, taking ownership over their own learning.